Have you ever stopped to think about what it takes to make the places that we live and work, well, work? And have you ever really thought about the costs, economic, social, and environmental, in doing so? Blue skies, the sun is shining, a gentle breeze is blowing through the trees. It's pretty nice, isn't it? What most people might consider a perfect afternoon spent outdoors. But the fact is, in our busy lives, we spend 90% of our time indoors. Let's face it, the amount of energy we use in built spaces is a big number. Now, the good news is that how we construct and manage these buildings is an area that's ripe for innovation particularly in how we move people around them. Otis Elevator moves the world's population every three days. An important way they do that is with their Gen 2 elevator technology. So the conventional elevator system works similar to the Gen 2 where you have a counterweight that goes down every time the car goes up. When you're picking up a heavier side, it works like a motor. Okay. When you're lowering the heavier side, it works like a generator actually. So a traditional elevator actually take that power that's being generated and just basically burn it off through heat. Instead, what we can do with our drive is turn that power back over to the electrical system. And how much more efficient is a Gen 2 elevator that's, that's running that regenerative system? It can be up to 75% more efficient than a traditional elevator. 75% more efficient than a traditional elevator. That's remarkable. Yeah. Incorporating a solar panel into the system increases the Gen 2 efficiency to the point it can run a small elevator using less power than a microwave. Remember how we talked about areas that were ripe for innovation? Well, how we heat and cool buildings is a big one. Imagine if we could achieve the same levels of comfort and productivity using almost half the energy. Well, now we can. It's easy to think air conditioning is about making things cold, but it really involves moving heat from where it's not wanted to either the outdoors or even better to where it's needed. A chiller is a great component that allows us to move heat very quickly. In commercial buildings, air conditioning is complicated, but in a nutshell, it pulls heat out of a space by drawing the warm air over pipes with cold water in them. The water in the pipes absorbs the excess heat, thereby cooling the air. The warmer water is then piped to a chiller. This is where the magic happens. The chiller runs the water through small copper pipes surrounded by refrigerant to absorb that excess heat. The heated refrigerant is transferred through a compressor into a separate part of the chiller, where that heat is removed and disposed of outside through evaporation. Air conditioning is a big part of our life. I think it's a necessity. It's not just an issue of comfort, it is an issue of productivity. The more comfortable people are, the more mm -hmm. they're able to focus and be productive, which benefits all of us. Oh, this is where it gets really exciting. The Carrier 23 XRV chiller actually operates 40% more efficient than the average screw chiller on the market. It's a big number. It is a big number, but it's new technology. We need to move around buildings. We need to heat and cool buildings. But what happens when something doesn't go as planned? Say, a fire starts. We're trying to document Stowe's story and the story of her era and the issues that she was writing about, issues related to equity and American history. Losing any of these artifacts would be a national disaster. And they're completely irreplaceable. So let's say a fire starts. Right. What happens? So a traditional sprinkler system, the water in those systems comes out in more of a shower type of fashion. The, the high fog system uses somewhere between 70 and 90 percent less water than you would use in a traditional sprinkler system. And then it, it bursts out of the nozzle in essentially a fog. That is correct. It doesn't really wet the environment very much. It typically would allow you to recover from something like this in a cultural heritage type of environment without having to do any major restoration work. It's a real mind easer to have a system like this protecting a collection like this. Where we live and work contain complex systems that can consume incredible amounts of resources. But with groundbreaking technology, it is possible to build a better world that's healthier and safer for all of us. United Technologies, this is how innovation for sustainability works.